Willie, how are you? What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Welcome. Thank you. My first time here to see your spot. Oh, let me give you a little tour. Let's do it. (laughs) All right. How long has this place been here? Man, we've been here since 95. Okay. 95, 96. Yeah. Uh, uh, In this same location here, when they first started here, we had two rollers. There's a lot, yeah, a lot going on in here now. So there's more than two rollers now. Yeah, it's uh, it's like a little beehive, like I always say. Awesome. Let's see. Let me show you back here. Okay. So everything you see in here, this is going to be all of our filler tobaccos. Wow. So we have tobacco in here from the Dominican Republic, from Nicaragua, from Honduras, from Brazil, uh, and Ecuador, all in here. And it's all, like I said, mainly all stuff for filler. Okay. In this room in here, let me open this door for you so you can get through. Okay. You see in here, this is where we ate all wow. of our cigars. Wow. So a lot of cigars in here, man. You'll see there's different wrappers, different sizes. It's all different blends and uh, different tobaccos that go into all these different blends. And the aging process in here could go from 30 days all the way to 60 days. Making the cigar, you gotta moisten the, 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 the leaves, especially the binder and the wrapper. But it's not smokable, of course, that way. Exactly, yeah. so you kind of wick all the moisture out and in a slow process, depending on the blend, the right. heavier the blend, uh, a Maduro, a heavy, uh, strong cigar with a lot of thickly heroes, all those leaves retain a lot more moisture. So it takes longer for that moisture to wick out of the to cigar out. and be smoked. Right, uh, and then hence all the flavors marry together uh, as it sits in here for that time. Yep. This is where the magic happens, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 happening as we speak. Yes. You know, because some of these cigars have been here maybe a week. All the cigars, maybe they're right at that point. Get them out, ready to the pull, bands, and ship them. And out. the next ones come in. That's it. So wow, it's prime real estate in here. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> All right, so what do we got going on here? This is our part of our rolling floor. I'll show you the other side, but this is one section here that uh, that we're just making cigars. We tend to keep all the different rollers to one size for at least three to six months. Okay. That way you're not changing a guy, for example, from doing a Corona or a Lancero to a Toro. Right, right, right. You know, you try to keep them in that same wheelhouse. Consistency. Ring size, Yeah. you know, because it takes a little bit and some of these guys i mean everybody here has all worked in a major factory in cuba really hey, chapman partagas romeo so these are the best rollers one. of the best rollers these then. guys and girls they're all yeah. level nine rollers really yeah they're all level nine rollers is there a level 10 is that no, a, that's it's the a, highest. so nine is the highest yeah, that is the highest and then no the wonder the everything's career. so consistent yeah well and throughout the career oftentimes they stick to one size and that's it. It might be a Lancero, it might be a Corona, it right. might be a Lanceo, it might be a Chucho, whatever it right. is. But that's all they've ever rolled. Wow. You know, they could do different sizes. Sure. But get your specialty. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we have some that have come in, they don't make torpedoes. They have never made a torpedo. Then we have other guys that that's all they've done. It's been diademas, torpedoes, figurados. Right. So it's it's pretty trippy. Very neat, very neat. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the other section of the factory. Uh, same process. You know, a lot of these guys, they stick to the same size. Uh, we keep them in that wheelhouse. And then over here, all the girls are doing all the packaging. This is the you banding know. and everything going on the right here. are done in, in that room that I showed you. Yep. They come out and they start putting the bands that go right. for each each cigar that's in there. And so all the cigars that you do are done right out of this little spot. Everything that's is incredible. made out of here. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. But quality control, I guess, goes a long way when you can have it under one roof. There's definitely a, a lot of hands-on. Yeah. Because you're so small right. and not a lot of stuff falls through the cracks. <laughs> There's nowhere else to go. Yeah, you're not hiding here anywhere. So exactly. love it. I love it. Exactly. And it's, it's a number of different lines that we do. You know, we have our own house cigars that come out of here and then as you see the Herrera Miamis, yep. those come out of here and you know a bunch of other uh, accounts that we do cigars for and 
it, it definitely keeps us busy, man. That's awesome. You know, 